Hi, and welcome to News in Space. I'm KCD. Today, it's all about Pluto. NASA reports that the New Horizons robotic probe continues on its way to Pluto after a gravity assist by the planet Jupiter. By flying close to Jupiter, New Horizons used the planet's... By flying close to Jupiter, New Horizons used the planet's gravity to slingshot towards Pluto. The gravitational slingshot passed Jupiter on February 28, 2007 as 9,000 miles per hour, that's 14,500 kilometers per hour, to the probe's speed. New Horizons is expected to arrive at Pluto in the summer of 2015. Hmm, I'll be... Never mind. You see, currently, Pluto is over 31 times Earth's distance from the Sun. While at Pluto, it will study its surface composition and atmosphere, its planetary partner Charon, as well as its moons P1 and P2. It's cold there. Current estimates tell us that the average temperature is about minus 230 degrees Celsius. Pluto is an ice ball. Time for space debate. Today's subject, is Pluto a planet or not? Thanks, Steve, for agreeing to debate with me. No problem. Okay, let's get started. Pluto is a planet. It's round. It orbits the sun. What more do you need? Well, in August of 2006, the International Astronomical Union debated this very issue, and they decided to reclassify Pluto as a dwarf planet. You see, in order to be a planet in the classical sense, it has to be round, it has to go around the sun, and it also has to clear out its own neighborhood of other flotsam and jetsam. Pluto doesn't qualify because, well, its orbit goes inside the orbit of Neptune sometimes. So now it's to be called a dwarf planet in the category of trans-Neptunian objects. Well, I don't agree. It was good enough to be a planet when it was discovered in 1930, it even has moons? Well, good point, but Pluto and Charon orbit a common center of gravity. So I guess you could call it a double dwarf planetary system with a couple extra moons, P1 and P2, thrown in for good measure. You're splitting hairs here. Who are you to argue with the International Astronomical Union? Uh, planet. Dwarf planet. Planet. Dwarf planet. I see it's a planet. I think I've been pluto Okay, let's see what people on the street have to say. No. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yes, I definitely think Pluto's a planet. I believe they've baited and they said it is now a planet, so I'll go with the general consensus. It's a planet. No, Pluto is not a planet. I've long believed that, far before the experts came up with that solution as well. It's a rock, it's flying around, it's way beyond all the gas giants. It doesn't make sense for it to be there. It's just another thing flying around the solar system. Yeah, it should stay as a planet. They've called it Pluto for a while, so why would they change it? No, it's not a planet any longer. It was last year, but not now. Well, I still say it's a planet. To learn more about the demotion of Pluto, you might want to pick up a copy of Pluto and Beyond by Anne Menard. A good reminder that new discoveries constantly change our knowledge of the universe. Okay, this is April and there are some great objects in the sky. Orion, the mighty hunter, dominates the view to the southwest. Above and to the left of Orion is Gemini, the twins. This constellation's brightest stars are named for the twins, Castor and Pollux. To the left of Gemini, you have the constellation Cancer, the crab, and Leo, the lion. That bright star nestled between Cancer and Leo isn't really a star. So what is it? Saturn. To the naked eye, Saturn appears like a star that doesn't twinkle. In a telescope, you can see its rings and some of its moons. Very cool. 
When Galileo first saw Saturn in 1610, he couldn't quite make out what the rings were. To him, it was as if the planet had two companions. Saturn is actually less dense than water. If you could find a bathtub big enough, Saturn could actually float in it. Of course, we're looking at a planet so big you can line up over nine Earths from one side to the other, not including the rings. The rings are so big they could barely fit in the distance from the Earth to the Moon. Well, that's it for this edition of News in Space. I'm Casey D. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.